Hello, my name is Nino Jenna, and the topic of my video today is Understanding Professional Athletes' Use of Twitter, a Content Analysis of Athlete Tweets. Technology is rapidly changing, and so are the ways in which we connect with our favorite professional athletes and sports figures. It's important to understand the ways that new communication tools affect the relationship between athletes and fans, as well as sport communication in general. This study examines professional athletes and their use of Twitter, and what effects it can have in the sports marketing world. Since Twitter began in 2006, it has become a very popular way for professional athletes to connect with their fans. For example, Allen Iverson kept his fans updated about his off-season conditioning programs, as well as possible trades through his Twitter. At one point, Lance Armstrong tweeted a message that asked fans to join him for a bike ride at a specific time and location. Just a few hours later, more than a thousand cyclists showed up to participate. Twitter is a very useful way for professional athletes to connect with their fans without having to go through public relations departments for approval, while also skipping the waiting period of sending messages in conventional ways. To put things in perspective, Twitter had 2.3 million users in August of 2008, and as of June of 2009, there were nearly 50 million people using Twitter worldwide. Beyond the normal tweets we are used to, Twitter can be used in a multitude of contexts in the real world. Doctors are able to share information regarding their research and medical procedures, and businesses of all sizes accept customer feedback and promote their goods and services. Journalists who work for big and established news sources have used and cited Twitter as an information source, and media sources like ESPN often use and cite tweets as their source of information from athletes. Twitter allows sports fans to connect with their other fans by reading and discussing tweets from Twitter of their favorite sports, teams, and athletes. Twitter also allows fans to have their own individual and unique space where they can freely discuss sports and display their own pride and support for their favorites. Communicating using an online social network like Twitter has proven important for people with common interests but are in different locations, especially with things like fantasy football. Athletes can use their own Twitter pages for discussing their playing performance and to interact with fans and teammates, but it's also for their own personal and social lives as well. It seems that more fans love to hear about athletes' lives off the field than most people realize. This availability to fans' favorite teams and players plays an integral role in developing team identification, which we have discussed as a class. Still, sports organizations are still not sure how to convert Twitter from a popular marketing medium into a possible revenue stream. This study is from 2010 by four students at the University of Louisville. They observed 1,962 tweets from 510 verified accounts of currently active professional athletes and categorized the tweets into six different categories. The category with the most tweets is called interactivity. This means that the athletes are communicating directly with fellow athletes and fans. Out of the 1,962 total tweets observed, this one had 671 of them, or 34%. Diversion, which is non-sport related communication, had the second highest number of tweets, with 545, or 28%. Even though playing sports is a full-time job for these athletes, they also tweet about things that are non-sport related, including things like family and social life. The third most, information sharing, had a considerable amount less than diversion. It only accounted for 298 tweets, or 15%. These tweets are when athletes tweet about things like practices, games, and other events. Content was the next category, which contained 254 tweets, or 13%. These are tweets in which athletes show personal pictures or give links to websites and blogs elsewhere on the internet. The second to lowest category is called promotional. There were only 102 tweets total, or 5%, which shows that athletes seldomly dedicate tweets to promoting or publicizing upcoming sport-related events and activities. Lastly, the category with the fewest amount of tweets is called fanship, with only 92 tweets, or 5%. This clearly shows that athletes hardly talk about sports other than their own. In summary, the interactivity and diversion categories contain 62% of all the tweets surveyed. The takeaway from this study is that Twitter, as it relates to the sports industry, can reach a large audience in a direct and unfiltered way through professional athletes. Sports marketers will continue to try and figure out ways to turn influential Twitter accounts into major revenue streams, and since this is something that is not going to change anytime soon, 
Anybody going into the sports marketing industry in our generation could certainly take great advantage of the potential revenue opportunities that Twitter has to offer. Thanks for watching.